Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. This is a video discussion on weapon damage formula. What are the factors contributing to weapon damage and how to probably increase your weapon damage output. But before that, if you find this video informative, please do put a like to this video. And also guys, I'd like to request that you support this channel by subscribing because this helps the channel a lot. So going back, also thanking Pay Penguin. Um, this is the guy here. Thank you for putting this list together, together with, you know, all of the other contributors for this discussion. So again, guys, I am just here to share this information with you. I'm not the contributor or the, the originator of this post. So I'm just sharing it with you so that you guys will are well informed. And also I'd like to break down some key aspects of the weapon damage formula so that you may probably concentrate on one or multiple um, aspects of that formula. So let us enlarge this, um, what do you call this? this view so that we could see more clearly on what we're going to be talking about so the weapon damage formula here is operative attack bear with me please because we'll break them down later weapon compatibility crit damage multiplier total buff percentage uh, defense and enemy elemental resist so just want to give my thoughts on the breakdown here. So operative attack is your standard attack stat on your character. So once you open your character, there's an attack stat there. The buffs that give additional attack are not usually included in the attack stat. So you have to calculate that differently. We'll go to that later. Also weapon compatibility. There's a stat on your weapon, which is compatibility on your stat sheet. Take note that weapon compatibility increases as you level up your character. Um, at this point, I'm not sure why some weapons are harder to get to level 100. Some weapons are easier. But to increase your comp compatibility, you will need to level them up. Okay, so this is uh, the motion per value bullet. Again, guys, the, this information might be too overwhelming for you. So at least right now, I'm breaking down where you could get this, how you could, you know, how could you contribute to this. Operative attack usually happens when you level up your character. It usually adds a, you know, stats to your attack. So crit damage multiplier, just want to go um, towards this one. Your crit damage um, is uh, mainly comes again from your weapon. So this applies if you hit the weak point or if you miss the weak point, but your crit rate gives you a crit. So what does this mean? For you to have a crit damage, to, to, to trigger crit damage, you must have also a crit rate. Crit rate is just how often you're going to apply crit damage. So if it is 20%, so basically 20% of your shots will inflict crit damage. And it is RNG. It's not It's not guaranteed. Again, it's 20%. So it's 50%. So what does that mean? So every if your crit, crit uh, rate is 50%, so if you shoot twice, one of those will um, trigger a crit damage. Okay, so because it's 50%. So one bullet... Uh, doesn't have one bullet has so that is just your crit damage just to expound more on what we have so the total buff percentage so this is what the first one means that the buff don't usually reflect on the stat sheet such as attack buff from weapons or let's say if there's an attack buff in a specific um in a specific skill like like uh, neuronics then you have to to calculate the total buff separately, okay? Multiplier from all the various damage buffs you have, such as character passives, which again, um, sometimes involves Euronics. We don't have enough testing. So again, this is templar temporarily what is uh, stated as a addition for your team buff. So for defense, it's a flat out 50%. So you calculate 50%, 
um, of the defense that is the value and based on what they have been looking at most of the enemies that we'll encounter will have 50 percent but we don't know um which enemies in the future or now specifically will have more or less than 50 percent so the assumption here is that um, damage will be uh, reduced by 50 percent based on the testing of these guys so again uh, here are some points on the um, defense. So Marin's passive minus defense and minus defense percentage and ultimate are what we uh, what let us verify the 50% decrease is entirely firm defense from testing with Marian. Uh, thanks to Dem Demagons, it seems like it, it may be possible um, be possible to push enemies into negative defense and deal more damage. Than expected, but we don't yet know the exact numerical value and of defenses they have. So again, it's possible that you can lower their defenses, but it's not really tested at this point. So it seems that the defense formula is nonlinear, probably lo logarithmic or something similar. So why e even have a formula if the enemy has the same defense? Our guess is that the damage taken by our operatives use the same formula, but we haven't tested it yet. So basically what they are saying is that, okay, um, we'll just have to finish this. Elemental resist. So this is the multiplier for gray. If you've seen the, the infographic here, this is the infographic that they are meaning in terms of the gray symbol so for the gray multiplier it's one for um one arrow is 1.05 which is uh five percent or 1.1 for two which is ten percent okay so what are they saying in a nutshell because this is kind of long and kind of confusing so again choose what you're going to be improving okay do not get so worked up on what is the elemental resist this will just follow depending on what weapon are you using and what um what element is your weapon using and what element is your character using okay the defense part just assume that it's going to be 0 0.5 um, at this point, we cannot even compute. This is, for me, is a fixed va value at this point, unless we have more results. The total buffs here also, you need to compute and add these separately from, uh, um, apart from your attack stat from your character. So you can actually control the buffs. You need to see how much buffs are your passive or some of the skills are adding. And this one, you could increase the attack stat you can increase as your character improves. Weapon compatibility, again, is going to be a question mark for some weapons who cannot or is slow to go up to 100. And crit damage multiplier only is um, going to be effective if you can have uh, a good enough crit rate to have. So basically what I'm saying is don't worry about all of these things. These things are very technical, and sometimes the you know the, um, most of the players don't even want to deal with these. The only thing that you can manage here is probably increase your attack stat, also increase your crit damage and crit rate, also increase your weapon compatibility. So all the things that are manageable you can do, please do. So one is operative attack, compatibility, damage multiplier uh, crit damage multiplier and buffs so these four here are going to be the ones that you're going to be focusing on the rest is actually difficult to manage elemental resist can be managed if you are you know if you're very aware of which which element is actually good against in an, a specific enemy so again these two, the defense and elemental resist, these are, you know, less that you will pay attention to. Um, again, if you are, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, then elemental resist is also one way of, uh, you know, um, if you're very sharp at, you know, at uh, knowing who to pair or to, to bring 
versus a specific type of enemy, then this is going to be good. But for your casual players, just be aware of the attack, weapon compatibility, crit damage multiplier, and the total buffs that you'll be getting from all of the things that are attached to your operative and also passive. So that is it. This is going to be a handful, guys, and this is going to kind of crack your skull if you really going to be serious about this but again we are here to enjoy the game just um manage what you can manage and don't overthink all of these things that um we have discussed so this is just a nice to know but again most people will really have a hard time putting this together so Again, guys, if you are interested more on this post, I'll put this in the description part of this video so that you can delve into this a little bit more deeper and take a look at this article. So that is it, guys. Um, I hope that this helped. And thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.